Relax, breathe. Don't help me. <laughs> Don't. Look at that. Did you feel your heel? Oh, you know what? I didn't feel any down my leg at all. Okay, relax. Breathe, breathe. Look where your heel is. Turn around. Yeah. See? That's where we want it all the time. But that's big difference from last week or two weeks ago. Relax. So just a little bit more on this. Roll over. And I felt that. Uh, I felt it down my hamstrings when you did it first time. Mm, yeah. Earlier. Yeah. But that that yeah. didn't feel like it. I'm wondering how much too is you not being able to relax. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, That's the like part of it. so you're you're getting better. You're getting feet. better, but Lego. I need to start meditating. Lego. Okay, so still a bit of work. So that that part in your butt it's just relax okay feel a little tension did yeah. it hurt at all no okay stand up just walk around for me just walk how do you feel good yeah you okay lie back down a second on your back Okay, so cross your arms, cross your chest. So what you're gonna be doing, so just do a crunch for me, like you're bringing your upper body to your knees. Okay, down. That's what I want you to do. So when I say three, two, one, go, I'm gonna try and push you okay. back, all right? Up, three, two, one, go. Good, okay, breathe, relax. I'm gonna do another one, but breathe. Up, three, two, one, go. See, that's where a little bit of your head in that position, right? When yeah. I do that, you're gonna move, so it's okay. It's good. All right, stand up. Okay, so this is the abs. <laughs> um, I'm gonna be just chopping your back. Okay. All right. Then I'll rub, all right? And then you're gonna do this in between legs. Rub, okay. all right, and we'll retest again, see what happens, okay? Okay. All right. So you got to breathe. You breathing. Okay, breathing. Okay. So you're like this, and you're gonna be going. As far as you can, all the way up, all the way down, all the way up. When you're finished, rub so you get some heat. Keep rubbing, rub hard, rub hard. What are you trying to do with him right now? Just get his core set, everything firing. So typically most guys will get concussions, like football guys and hockey guys, because they have their head up. So when in that position, if they're playing like this, they play like that and they get hit, that's when you get a concussion, right? So, all right. So, knees up. Okay, cross your hands. Up. Three, two, one, go. That's amazing. Man. Just because you, right. you hit him in the back and he was and, activating and it? This is part of groin, too. Groin and right up to, because all that, the psoas, everything else. So, you trying to, so he's activate. chopping his, I'm trying to activate. waking it up? I'm yeah. trying to, so he's done, he's done his, Yeah. he's activated the breathing, we're trying to loosen up. The only issue right now is really his hamstrings a bit. Uh -huh. I'm not sure whether it's him. Right. 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 Just not. But you, but you, but him chopping this and yeah. then rubbing it wakes it up. Yeah. How yeah. about the back one? Same thing. Wakes up the back. Yeah. Yeah. So last one I'm going to do. Just going to do your calves. This one's going to hurt. Right. Find it. Okay, there you go. Your face, your face gave yeah, it away. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, all right, breathe. Is that on the rev or under? That's, 
just, it's just, if you look at the, probably the two ribs. Yeah. And then you'll find, like, you gotta sometimes search around, but like I was searching around, I could see your face. As yeah, soon as I, I got a spot, right? Felt it, right? I knew. So, because it's different, it's 45 degrees from your, from your belly button. Okay. And it lands in different faces with different people, because some guys, they're so tight, there's barely space in between the ribs and the, and the pelvis bone. Now, some guys, it's really huge. Yeah, yeah. But everybody's oh, anatomically yeah. different, right? Yeah, yeah. So, all right, let me see about this in. Sometimes you gotta search or nothing, eh? Yeah, not. Okay. Not that. Wow. Well, right there? Up. Okay. Okay. Breathe. Okay. All right. Yeah, that one Put your shoes on. Oh, that's good, man. I'm. You just got really on the hamstrings, right? So the hamstrings would be right back here. Yeah. Right back where you could feel it sore, just like the lip and the edge. Um, you work that and you gotta practice your breathing and just and trying relaxing. to relax. Like, that's the hard part. It's the hardest part. Drinking more water. Well, you gotta yeah, stay that's hydrated. The, that's the second hardest part. You gotta stay hydrated. How do you feel? Good. The wake, the wake up, eh? Well, I'd be doing it, and it, it's amazing how it feels different. Okay, so we're gonna go out and we're run you through a warm up, and then I'll show you what what I have. Okay, so a question for you. Um, your running is a staple, like running on a treadmill. Yeah, is a staple. Usually. Okay, so I don't have to put any sort of conditioning in there for you. Like a warm up? Or? No, no, like as actual conditioning. Because one of the things that you want to do to to try and lose weight is well, intervals, if, right? If you can, if you run, right, yeah. you do say like thirty seconds hard. Yeah, yeah. Minute off, thirty seconds hard, but you want to do that because that will help accelerate your fat loss as well. Okay. Yeah, we talked about that a yeah, bit, right? Yeah, so yeah. I'm, I'm trying so to do that. You think about it, let me know. And I'm going a minute yeah. on, like, I'm going six miles an hour, seven miles an hour, yeah. eight miles an hour okay. for a minute. Okay. And then coming back down, yeah, coming then back going down, back go, up again. Okay, so like a ladder, mini ladder. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, good. All but right. if you can come up with some... I got all kinds of things. I like, well, do you like? Do you like... Do you like rowing machine? Do you like? Yeah, I can do rowing stairs. Um, so I can do elliptical, stairs. elliptical or you can, they got a stairmaster yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, stairmaster. So yeah, I can give you a variety. So if you feel bored, like you just do yeah. something else. But um, I'm not a huge fan of treadmills because of how it changes the gait and okay. stuff and, and and the pressure it can put on your lower leg. That's um, the thing. I'm I'm, yeah. I'm thinking I yeah. do too much. Maybe. Yeah, I, I, and I the think the knees and and all that. Right. I think we can you know, replace that and help you with other stuff. And then okay. every once in a while you go back in here because I know you'll like it. But okay. we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. All sure. right? Okay. All right. So bring some instruments of torture. <laughs> Got right. the goodie bag, eh? <laughs> yeah, the goodie bag. Okay, so what's good about how you feel right now? See, it doesn't take long to work on the little issues. Yeah. Right? Because you're actually working on stuff and they're getting better as you, as you go through, right? Which is fantastic. So this is what I like. I'm trying to get, like, how long would you say you work out? How much time? An hour, hour and a half? Hour, okay. Hour. All right, good. No, that would be perfect. Um, so literally what you want to do when you come in, because you see how you you kind of recognize that you knew little spots that were kind of a, an issue for you, yeah. right? So literally you come in and you start one leg at a time. You just roll your calves. You might feel a spot, right? So okay. let's go through it, right? Roll your calves. 
So that'll put, if you put your other leg on, it puts more pressure on top. Yeah. Feel anything? Yeah. Yeah. So as the, as the map shows, right, you've got a little bit of an issue there. So you want to try and like, you know, just get, see if you can get it to release. So part of that, see how your face, you're, ti you're tightening up, you're tight. So you've got to try and breathe, try and do the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, so roll your other one. Same thing, that one's worse? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think... Uh... How do you know if you're rolling properly, Ian? How? Yeah. What should you well, look for when you're rolling? His face. <laughs> his face. Look at his face. <laughs> no, you'll, you'll, you'll find, see, if, if I do this, like everybody's notorious in the IT band, right? But if I do this, and I don't feel anything, okay, I'm good, I can move on. Yeah, yeah. Right? But if you feel it, you'll feel pain. Like, how else can I describe it? You feel like, whoa. Sure. Just like, what? Like, and how, how long do you, should you do this? Well, I wouldn't be too long, because you want to try, you don't want to spend an hour, right? You just want to, that's enough. That, that makes you, lets you know and be aware that, okay, that's an issue that I've got to try and spend a little more time on later okay. on, right? So next up, your hamstrings. Just, just roll the back of your legs. Nothing, right? Yeah, which is good, right? Okay, you can now turn over and quads, so one at a time. A little bit, right? So part of that is also bending your leg. Right? Try and go right up to your hip as far as you can. Anything there? Okay, a little there. It's more, so let's do this. So go to the spot where you think it is. If you roll over on the side, if you just turn it over, you feel a lot, right? Yeah. Okay, here you go. So that's one of your other issues. <laughs> okay, the other leg. Gee, this just tells you where everything is, right? Then you're at least aware of it. Yeah, there's, your, there's the face. Yeah, not as bad. Though. Okay. Left side's the worst. Yeah. Oh, gosh. You can't feel it? Oh, what? I can feel it like crazy. It feels like a rubber band when you go over it. Like, you ever feel like it, it just twangs, right? Yeah, like, yeah. it just moves out of the way. Cause yeah, it's like, <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll take that, we'll finish. We'll, we should have started with our upper body, but so you're right underneath and so get to the top, right? We want to do cross your arms, right? Try and lower your head. So keep your butt on the ground. Try and lower your head. So we're trying to get your T-spine moving, right? Okay, then move up a bit. Yep. No, up low, uh, lower, sorry. The other way, towards your, yeah, never roll your neck with that, okay? All right. And when you're there, do you feel a spot anywhere? Okay, try this, roll to the left. Just lean over on the left side, lean over on your right side. You're good? A little sore, okay. All right, the right side. My left side. Your left, okay. All right, so now you get the roller down towards your lower back a little more. So you're progressively going to your tailbone, right? Try and do the same thing. Get the T-spine moving, then lift your butt up and roll. Anything? A little bit. Okay, you can feel it right here. Yeah. Okay. No, so, so that's that's part of your QL. Yeah. Going over here, right? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right. So, see, we're lining up with a bit of the issues on your, on your map, right? So now this is getting a little deeper that you can do yourself, yeah. right? And just help and just assist with your. This is before you work out. Yeah, you just want to see what's going on, okay. right? Okay. So this one. So the D that's up, I want you to roll on that side. So. Feel anything there? Okay. See, I was going to give you the ball, and I definitely feel that, but, so. 
that's that glute meat. That's what I was pressing on. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Other side. How's it yeah. feeling so far, Jonathan? That nearly is bad. <laughs> oh, I can feel spots. Lots of spots. Okay, so this is this is murder in a sense because it's a little more concentrated. So you can do the same thing. You can roll the side, but it's more of right by your tailbone. I want you to feel that edge okay. that I that I grabbed, and you may you may or may not feel pain, but I want to see if you can locate any area. So roll around both sides. So it's where you felt it, yeah, that's that's the face. There you go. Yeah. Feels different from that, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> now try go in the middle so you feel your tailbone just around the edge. The edge yeah. it drops off. You feel that? Yeah. Okay. That's, it's not. It's not. A, no, but you can feel it. There's yeah. a spot, right? That this, one. That one's. That one's killer now. Well, this one's still sore. So it's still your right side that's worse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. Ball. Hey, do that, you, do that at home. you and your you and your chest. We'll work on a bit of. So oftentimes, we get a little lesions under the arm, right under armpit, towards our lats, okay. ribs. So you're here. So it's right just above my armpit, almost to my triceps. Yeah. Feel anything? Yeah, a bit down the arm, but not too bad. Okay, all right, good. So that's something that, again, it's not as crucial, but you know, when you have a good day, you can do everything. Yeah. You work on trying to loosen that up as well. All right, so now go to your armpit. So right in your armpit, right? And you roll just that armpit. If you don't feel anything, so follow me, watch this. You roll over on your back just a bit, and you might feel, just put, yeah, your, put, your, put your arm straight out. Like you're reaching, there you go. Yeah. That's a spot, right? Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's a spot. Yeah, that's right. And that's your right shoulder, right? Okay, now straighten up again, so right on your side, and just roll your lats. Just yeah, roll your, roll. yeah. You should feel something, feel anything there? Yeah. Good. Yeah, right in the back there. Yep. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, he's a pain. <laughs> Other side? You don't usually demonstrate, you just make the guy do it. Pretty much. No, but I need to though. I'm going to feel nice when I'm finished. <laughs> <laughs> so, just around the triceps. Yeah, this side is So, stick your thumb up. Yep, I want you to, so reach like you're reaching for. Yep, there you go. So yeah, it's not nearly as bad. Okay, so in that position, so you're under the armpit, right? Okay, roll over now. So start again, start. So lean straight out, right? Yeah. Just to roll over. Feel it? Feel anything? Yeah, it's not, not as bad as bad. the. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, I do feel it. Okay. Okay, good. Good. So stand up for me. How do you feel? So this should really take not long yeah because you're trying to find you know you're gonna have the calves you're gonna have the top end of your your quads and okay this is murder get on the ground and put that ball right there so you're gonna be doing that okay so go on your right knee feel it yeah yeah there right you go there. that's the spot <laughs> Good. <laughs> so let me, let me just check your shoulders for a second. So in all likelihood, so especially we're going to your right shoulder, you'll, I can probably press and find some areas, but you'll kind of just move around, see if you can find a spot. When you find a spot, then raise your arm. Got it. Let's work it, but I would suspect you'd have 
spots on the back of your shoulder. Higher. Could be higher, could be, could be lower, could be. Sometimes it's easier to find it on the ground. I think it's more higher. It's higher? Yeah. Because that doesn't feel too bad. Okay. Or maybe it's a little lower. Give me that for a second. Okay. So move around your shoulder blade and all that. Just see if you... Nothing? No. Not bad then. Okay. Let's try the other side. That's good. One last, one last. Doesn't feel too bad, eh? That's good. It's good then. So I really so, feel it down here, down this. Right here? Okay. Yeah. So what I want you to do, you'll probably find an area. So lean on it and yeah. move and around and you'll see you might find a spot there. Drop your arm. Put your arm straight. Yep. Yeah. It doesn't feel as no, bad right? standing. Okay, and then roll that way. No? There a bit. Okay. But not. So that's the spot. Okay. Not like it was under. Underneath. Yeah. Under your, yeah, okay. So that's definitely crucial. Right? That's good though. That's not bad. I'm sweating. I don't know about you. <laughs> so when you identify stuff, yeah. what is that? Just so another day. You want, it, you want them to eventually disappear, obviously, right? Yeah. You want them to go away. If you're leaving too long, People it working may hard. cause an issue later on down the road. So yeah. what you're trying to do is, okay, Jonathan's working hard. treat it a little bit at a time, right? And all this really is, again, it's 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 not a stopgap to a therapist because sometimes like, oh man, I need to get real, real yeah. deep tissue massage or adjust it or whatever. But in between your appointments, you want to try and see if you can maintain it or get better. Okay. So you don't have to. So you don't have to do, right? that all do it all the time, right? And especially when, you know, you're lifting, you're trying to get stronger. You want to make sure because as you get stronger your muscles tend to shorten and tighten and you get more adhesions. So you want to try and get rid of that, Okay. right? You want to be a step ahead at sure. least, right? Yeah. Okay. So now I'm going to go through your warm up, nice little warm up, just to get the body nice. Man, I'm going to have to take off my, this is ridiculous. Stop working me out. <laughs> So a quick warm up because we want to try and work up, warm up our body, um, get it ready for, I think, cross your hands like that. Okay, so I'm going to push, right? You're going to resist. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay. The other side. Three, two, one, go. Okay. So the other one where we did the chop, that mm -hmm. helps with too. That's anti-rotation. Okay. Right? So that's just a, a bit of a thing, but hold your hands out and just turn as far as you can. Okay, the other side. Okay. Let me see your swing. Go. Oh. I'm straight. Yeah, I definitely think I have some... Uh... T-spine. Why, well, and this shoulder tends yeah. You used so, to hurt a lot more. So it's that shoulder, it's this QL. Yeah. Right? So those are things we gotta fix. Take care of the tightness in your hips um, and probably your hamstrings, because that's gonna restrict. When I take your hamstring and try and move it up, right? Either you're preventing it or the other side, your quads aren't relaxing to allow you to go up. Yeah, yeah. It's something in there we gotta figure out. Okay. Once you do that, then you're freer to move your hips, right? And get that full extension. Okay. Right? So. That's all, it all makes sense. But um, I wanna work on T-spine with you, making sure we get T-spine mobility, making sure we get you in a proper frame of, um, what could I say? In the beginning, it's, it's what I call a reset workout. We're just trying to get the body, make sure we're addressing movements properly, make sure we're in good motor patterns, and then we can start getting you stronger. Because okay. you get you stronger in a mode when you're, you can't necessarily take it, Yeah, I might hurt you, right? And I don't wanna do that. So. Okay, so easy little move. So <laughs> basically we're starting, so starting from this position, right? Lunge forward, Yeah. right? I'll move back a bit. 
right? Lunge forward, right? Hands to the ground, right? And it should be a deep lunge so you can get a stretch in your, feel that stretch down here? Yeah. Okay. Yep, good. All right, so what you're gonna do is now a lift, a hip lift. So I can't do it, I can't straighten down my leg, but if you could straighten this leg out, fantastic. You feel that, you feel that stretch? Yeah. Okay, back down. Okay, now you take right hand or your, yeah, so leave that hand on the ground by your foot and look at your hand, try and rotate as much as possible. Back down. Now, some else also do it this way too. It's easier for me to do it that way. Yeah. And down. Okay, now when you're in this position, I want you to move over, keep that leg straight. So that back leg, keep it straight. You'll feel it right in the groin. Yeah. Right? Back over. Back again. Squat. All right, squat. So there's a little bit of ankle mobility. Move around. All right? All right? Then stand up. So that's one, right? See, now you want to keep it, it's a, it's a fluid movement, right? I know you're pretty warm, like you're pretty warm right now. Yeah. But if you come in and you're cold, then you do probably about five movements and continue. So it's like this, you're here, right? Lunge, big lunge, hands down, get the groin up. And stand up, and then you do the other side, right? So try your other leg. So other leg forward, hands down. Oh, I forgot the uh, rotation. Hands down, so get that lunge stretch, all right? Yeah. Moving into Cossack. Move back. Up. Back down. Squat position. Stand up, and then you move to the other one. So we're trying to make it a movement. Not, it's not pure sure. stretching, it's moving. I'm glad you recorded right? this. <laughs> it's, it's moving into, getting into the movement, right? So you good on that? Yeah. How do you feel right now? Good. Things open up a bit more yeah, too, right? Yeah, stretch here. Okay, all right. Okay. So part of, I can't do it on my phone. It's on your phone, so. I don't know if you went in to train heroic. So, you'll fill out all those questions. Which one was it? Oh. So, TH. There you go. Yeah. So, refresh. There you go. Load up, right? So, start session. So your that's rest. your survey. So what was your sleep quality like? Each one of the Last sections. Night. Was that a train heroic? Yeah. We did that. So okay. you did that, right? Okay. So we're gonna do black burns next. So you're yeah, on the ground. Yeah, I to catch that phone there, but that's the train heroic app that Ian uses to. Uh, you're on the ground like this. Programming. So do the programming um, forward, telling us clients what to Thumbs do, uh, how to bring deal with the around. sequence of events. So it's it's pretty it's pretty good. It's, it's organized. All right. So this is your shoulder, warming up your shoulder. Okay, do two more. Good. Keep your arms straight when you come around. Let them come around, come around, come around. And then curl them behind you. There you go. All right, one more. Good. Good, okay. So then you check that off. All right, we kind of went out of, went out of order. So this was the, 
So we have videos in it, right? All these videos okay. are together. That's right? that walking yes. walk step. Yes. And okay. let me show you one that we didn't do. Okay. This one, come over here for a sec. So that would be part of in that whole movement. I'll go over it again with you before we go. Sure. But so take a quick look at it. You're right here because we want to try and get mobility on that side. Okay. On your on your quads, right? So you so can grab see your the program back here. Leg. Right. And what you're trying to do, so you don't want your knee bashing into well, you're just doing this. You're so moving forward. Wall hip flexor mobilization. Yes. Deep squat with That's ankle okay. mobility, close sex stretch. So and when you're doing it and you can see with the, the videos movement, okay, there switch, switch you legs. How to do when it. you do it with the movement and you're in space, right? Basically, you just put your hand down. Okay. And move. But you feel that stretch, right? Yeah. Try and get a little more movement. Go up, back. There you go. Good. Good. Okay. Good man. All this is prep, man. It'll go fast when you do it. Like, yeah, it'll go yeah. fast, but all right. So check that off for me. This is all stuff I think will help my flexibility. It will help your body, man. You'll, you'll feel that much better. Uh-oh. What do I check it? So that's one. OK. OK, so now we're going to the next round. So intensity, how did that feel? there so you go through the same thing each section we go through the same thing gives me an idea how you felt feel okay yeah good Feeling okay? Okay, good. Where are we going? Go. Pull downs. Can, can you do a chin up? For a pull up? Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, cool. I, was, I, I had pull ups in there first. I said, look, let me just do pull downs. Because that way you just can work on the strength, right? You can concentrate on the movement as opposed to. Where do I go here? Do I just stay here? Um, just back. Okay, so go back to calendar. Okay, so now. Okay, that's checked. Checked. That's checked. That's checked. Oh, now we go to the next. Strength yeah. and power. Yeah, it's the same thing. Is that the first exercise? Yeah. Pull downs? Yep. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Alrighty, back from the bathroom break. Let's uh, do some pull downs. Okay, so your pull down machines have really wide grips, yeah. right? really small grips or narrow grips. It'd be better to be safer for your shoulder, right? Is about just outside your shoulder width. When you go real wide, yeah. you put your shoulder in a situation where it's got to really move. This this joint and your hip joint, okay. they can pull some ridiculous degrees in terms of movement, but okay. it's always not, not always a good thing, right? So just for shoulder health, so just about here, yeah. which is, so if you, say you had a really long bar like this, I would probably grab it around okay. where that curve is, right? But I'll put this one on. Oh. Uh. 
Man, I hate glasses. <laughs> I don't. Do, do you, you, are yours reading glasses or? Well, they're now all time. They're now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's my next step. Wear them all the time. That's my next step. It used to be just reading. So, what I want you to do standard pull down. So, you want the stretch at the top? Yeah. Right? So, you want to feel that. Your shoulders just come out of their sockets in a sense. Pull down. Try not to lean too much into it. Just pull it down. Pull your elbows down and back. Up. Down and back. Up. Down and back. All right? Yep. All right. Let me tell you how many reps. Um, Okay, eight reps. Good. Okay, easy? Too easy. Okay, yeah, yeah. all right. Um, have you ever done a horizontal pull up? No. Okay, stay right there. That felt okay? That felt okay? Yeah. Okay. Follow me over here. So this is getting closer to doing a pull-up. Just a little bit easier on the body, less body weight. Yeah. Feet straight out, heels into the ground. Try and pull up to the chest. Okay. Okay. All right. Do eight for me. Body weight. Oh, I'm telling you. Okay. Good. Good job. Good. Good job. A little yeah. challenging? A little challenging. Okay, challenge. good. All right, okay. We'll do, <laughs> we'll do one more. Good job. Please? Yeah. No, no, you, can, you can relax. You can. Where's your water? Where's, Where's your water? water? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta drink water between, uh, between sets. Yeah, pretty nice gym here. Got some. Got a good combination of racks, platforms, turf area. Pretty open concept, which is nice. Okay, that was good form. So, I like what you did, you kept your butt off the ground, so you're forming a plank. Yeah. Right? Keep that core tight and just try and pull. That's good. Good. All right, good. One more. All right, relax. Take your time. You can get up, you know. I'm not that I'm not bad I'm not that bad a taskmaster. You can get up. How <laughs> long? I like going with like I don't know, that's yeah. my stress mentality. Well, as you decrease your rest, the harder it gets because yeah, you still yeah. got lactic acid in your system, right? But I'll tell you when to go. <laughs> I'll tell you when to go. Okay, go ahead. Good, good man. Okay, so you'll probably like the fact that um, the way I have it laid out, we're, yeah. doing, we're doing it by its, each exercise by itself, but you can actually do that exercise, the next exercise, and a third. 
Yeah, so, do you, so, do you yeah, rotate yeah. or is it better to do three sets of the same thing? It depends on really the theme of what's going on. We're just trying to get you in condition and shape of lifting, but I know you, you're a little bit under the gun in terms of time. I just want to get it going because that, that was interesting. You told me a lot. Yeah. Because if I told you, okay, I want you to rest for a minute and 30 seconds, you'd be like, oh, geez, Yeah, geez. what am I doing for a minute and 30 uh, seconds? Right? So then you can go to another exercise that's not going to affect that one. And okay, do something gotcha. else, right? So we can do it. So it's like a triple set. Yeah. Right? So you rotate yeah. them. Yeah. So the next exercise is dumbbell RDLs. Um. Okay. Okay, maybe I'll get you to do the other exercise too. What are you guys moving on to now? Okay. Oh. You okay? Okay. Just choking. Feeling strong? You all right? Okay. Like last couple of weeks, I've been feeling much better. That's awesome. I think he's going to help me with my flexibility. I think. Pushing the warm up alone, I think that's going to help your flexibility so for sure. We're going to alternate as well. So, these three exercises we can complete together. Okay. Um, the only problem, the only caveat is when you go to the gym, how busy it is, then you may not be able to, right? Sure, so, do so it you so, could yeah. play it by ear. Yeah, yeah. Right? But if you have the room, you can do it and keep things close by, then I would do it. Okay. Right? So, this is going to be a dumbbell RDL. So, an RDL. Slight bend in your knee, right? You don't want to, I don't want you to feel it in your back. It's hamstring, glutes. Dumbbells are at your side. Forward till you feel a little tension. Back, squeeze your glutes at the top. Okay. That's the movement. Okay? All right? With the same dumbbells. You now come here, step up. All right? Drive your foot into the ground. Pull this foot up. Yeah. Toe up. With the dumbbells. Yes, with the dumbbells. Okay. Okay. That'll be your second exercise. All right. Do you want to try one? You want to try them separately? Yeah. Okay. I think that's eight reps. So stand up. So yeah, stand up. Right to the side. Bend your knees slightly. Then you just lean forward till you feel that tension. Yeah. Right up. Squeeze your glutes. So squeeze. Okay. Right. So now you're okay. Up. Your issues is standing up. Make sure you're. Go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Again. That's what he, Larry talks about with my finish. There you go. That's better. Yeah, makes sense. So get the chest out. Yep. Squeeze. You feel it in your hammies? Yeah. Good. Yep, there you go. Stand up. Good. Perfect. Perfect. You counting? No. That's probably eight. <laughs> Good. Okay, now, okay. So step up, driving to the ground, right? Toe up. Good. All today? If you want, try and keep that toe up that's in the air. There you go. So just like that, right? So step. There you go. Good. Step. Good. Step. Good. There you go. That's it. Yes. Sometimes it's easier to do one foot yeah. at a time. Good. Okay. So just do one and then do the other side? It's easier that way. Yeah. But it's up to you. You can alternate if you want. What are you working on right now, Ian? So I'm telling him when he's finished. I'll tell you when he's finished. Okay, all right. Looking okay, better than the first few that he yeah. did. Yeah, yeah. He's getting patterned. Okay, so when you come back, now see how you put that down? Okay, Leading drop. Forward. 
So instead of using be, my be, legs. Be very mindful, right? When you put it down, right? Just like you're deadlifting, be mindful how you're doing it. Use your legs, drop it here to that position. Do yeah. not bend over, because, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, you gotta be careful. So what I want you to do here is I wanna hear you hit that step, because it's all about force reduction, right? You hit that, that ball, it's ground to contact. Yeah. You're, you're forcing, right, the ground to get your stroke. Yeah. Right, you're up in the air, you can't do anything with it. So here, here, right? I wanna okay. hear it, I wanna hear it, right? So ball to your feet and get that up. Okay, all right, so that will help you be able to do that when you yeah. drive, okay? All right, all right, but good, that was good. So you see how we just, a little bit of repetition, now I start to get the, and I could have said, all right, no, 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 you're not doing it right, not, but you corrected yourself. Yeah. Because it's kind of a weird movement. It is, because you kind of want to Because dorsiflexing, because most, if you see pitchers, right, most of the pitchers are like that. Ah. Right? Well, but, that toe thing made yeah, a huge difference. Yeah, that makes yeah. you well, really better. raise the knee. Right? And it come off the ground, yeah. and it's force production. So if, you, if you're if you running, right, and you as a runner, if you ran like that, you trip over your feet and fall on the ground. Yeah. So the proper position is dorsiflex, right? So it all helps there, helps there, helps with your, okay. with your force production, right? That's good. Okay, I'll count since you have a difficult time counting. Okay, we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right. Eight more. Stand straight up, good, beautiful, beautiful. Don't shrug, good, good. Can you go deeper? Can I go deeper? Yeah, try one deeper. Okay, up, good. All right, now put it back down. Okay, sorry, you're uh, stepping. Going straight you're in? Stepping. Yeah. Two. There you go. Three. Yeah. Four. When you return, stand straight up. Five. There you go. Six. Stand straight up. Seven. Let me hear it. Eight. There you go. Now the other side, right? One. Okay, two, three, four, finish there, five, six, seven, eight, good, all right, really so return, nice. return now, let me see you put it back, you picked it up, you didn't pick it up well. Oh, did I? Careful, yeah. Because <laughs> the thing is, you know, I only hurt myself on light weights. I think we've had this discussion. Yeah, yeah. I don't hurt myself on heavy, because when it's heavy, you're like, okay, okay, I got to make sure everything's... Yeah. But you when, just when it's light, it. you just kind of do something. Next yeah. thing I was like, oh, oh, oh. God. So yeah. just be mindful. So, yeah, so that, you feel... Yeah, different in form makes a huge difference. Yeah. What, do you, what, do you feel di what do you feel different in the form? Well, just the form, it makes you work harder. For sure. For sure. You're not doing it properly. It's, it's, it's easier to also put your foot in the ground, right? And when, when, when I was trying to adjust you, said so you started thinking, next yeah. thing you know, you, it got softer because you're trying to, you're thinking, uh -huh. you're thinking about what you got to do, right? But once you get in that position, so then you I'm can. Not, I'm not so really you have, with you have the tendency to, to do that. Like you're Always. here, right? When you were squatting last time, right? Yeah. You'd squat and you'd be in this position, right? I, when, yeah. when you deadlift, Right? Or you just squat with the, you're, you're in that position when you finish. No, you gotta, shrug, you gotta stand right? nice and tall. Yeah, so the shrug's better. You still see a little tension when you come up, yeah. right? These are just meat hooks, right? Don't do that. Just stand, right? And I want you to squeeze the glutes, right? Because that will reinforce that hip extension. Yeah. That's it, right? That's what we talked about, right? Yeah, that's if better, yeah, if so. I finish with the yeah. Finish. So when he, was doing, when he was doing the squats, he, even though the chest was higher, his butt was still, too, yeah, too bad, yeah right? because because for some reason you have a tendency to stand like this that. This is my finish. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. Like, but like but no, I, when when he showed me right, because I'm worse off in terms of you know mobility and yeah. flexibility than you are. But when he showed me, and then that final little piece, it made sense because I'm always talking about hip extension with guys in here, right? When you're on the track, it's hip extension because that'll give me more power. If I'm here, I can't get full hip extension. If I'm here. 
then I've used it. Yeah. Right? So now you're using it in your stroke. Yeah. Now you're using it here, right? To get it through. Yeah, because you can't. No. No. You can't. You can't. No. All right? So I'm, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Okay. I'm just going to count. Let me see you do it. So this, uh, he, so this, uh, he should really, really focus on instead of finishing like I'm finishing. That, yeah, it's yeah. more exactly like tall, but not nice and tall, but not over exaggerating by bending from the from the low back. Because correct me if I'm wrong, his finish stroke, he's tall. Yeah, he's got to be tall. He's got to be tall for sure. Yeah. Same thing. Let's reinforce that pattern. Okay, so get a little deeper, at least parallel. There you go. Good. So don't drop down fast. So just Low. nice and easy, right? Don't hurry it up when you drop. Right there. Good. Up. I'd rather have you come up faster than. Good. 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 Good man. Up. See that? Rolling back on the, on the heels, eh? So keep your pressure midfoot. Good. Good. Okay, all right, step ups, good job. You're gonna do one side first? Yeah. Okay. One. Two. Good. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, switch feet. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good. Nice one. Eight. That's it. It's amazing when. Okay. Put it down. Don't talk. <laughs> <laughs> it looked. Good. It looked a lot Good. better. Good. What, what that, I... that. Listen. That last. Okay. You yeah. gotta see that video because. So. So. Correct position, right? So along with this, which is a faux pas, right? It's yeah. usually this instead of here. Yeah. Right. So by by the end of it, you started. You were I here. You here. You started getting. You started coming out. Right. The That's gonna do hip extension. I feel more power going down. Oh. When oh. I oh. Most definitely. For sure. Yeah, yeah. It's connected from head to toe, right? Yeah. Whole chain. So what I'm gonna say to you here, so you see how one of those, right? Yes. Like you right, you're almost teetered over. So what's very important, right? Golf, anything we do, any sport, it's this big toe. Okay. It all comes from the big toe. Keep it on the Because ground. if you swing, what's the last point of contact on my back foot? Yeah. My big toe. Right? And my big toe's also driving into the ground from here. So it originates there. So if you if you think midfoot. And sometimes, just to remind yourself, I'll wiggle my big toe in my shoe just to make sure, okay, I've got a tactile response that, okay, I need to engage that, yeah. right? So you do midfoot, your big toes is responsible for where the power is coming through, you and you, you'll, you'll minimize that, right? Yeah, and even when you straighten up, you get to your big toe too, right? I feel like Yep, as long, you see, you wanna be, you wanna have your feet, your, your weight, center of gravity over the midfoot here, but you rather err on this side of caution as opposed to coming back in the heel, right? Because that's got to do it. That's not going to give you power or anything. Yeah. Nothing. But okay. it's right through those those toes, right? That's good. I like how you, you you can correct yourself pretty good, man. Does um, that feel different? Yeah. So, I look. The last ones look better than when you watch the video later. When yeah. I upload it, it looks a lot different, better okay. too. So you good with? We'll do the next three exercises together. Yeah. Then. yeah. All right. I can do that. So okay. we're done with this. We're done with this set. Yeah. We're gonna move over. Yeah. Where are we going? Is that you? That's you? Okay. I'm gonna take that bench. It's okay, I'll go, use that one. I'll use that one. I'll use that one. Okay, this is actually pretty, oh. Are we bringing the bench somewhere? No, I'm just gonna leave it right here. Just here? Yeah.
See the stupid thing I did? Pick up the weight. You think I over the over the bench? It's like, yeah. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> <laughs> So keep a little pressure, you've been on your feet for a bit, take you off your feet because we're going to do um, a seated uh, dumbbell or shoulder right. press, all right? And it's a goblet squat and an RKC plank. Let me just grab a mat. You always look out for me, Doug. Appreciate it. We are looking for water? Well, no. The train, the app? Am I losing it? I haven't said it in so long. Yeah, okay. so once you finish, you just, you just take it off. What do I do with Well, he'll, he'll, enter the, he'll enter the weight for you. Okay. You'll enter the weight so, for him or he no, puts in you, the whatever you, he weighs. So I can't control it once I put it in, right? But yeah. what you're going to do, you keep putting the weights in, and then as we go along, I'll adjust it. I'll say, okay, oh, you okay, look pretty okay. easy, and I'll start adjusting it for you, right? So what um, do we do? So step ups, he was uh, 40 pounds, because it was two dumbbells at 20, yeah, 40. And same with the... Um, yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 mm -hmm. dude. Yeah, this place is... Uh, I know, <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, I'm nimble, good thing. So if I... Uh, Mm -hmm. Do I keep to that and then keep to the weight? So you're to putting it in with. now, right, to start? Yeah. And I'm going to put in more exercises and okay. things. But anytime if you have, um, you usually should probably see it the night before. Like I've got a lot of them in, but I um, may change or adjust things based on what I saw here. Okay. Um, but usually you'll see it the night before, or you might see the whole week. Like, are you, are you, are you a dude that'll freak out when you see a whole week or if you saw a month in no, there? No, I, I want to okay. see a whole okay. week. Because then you can actually look over the videos and say, okay, yeah, yeah. let me get comfortable. You can give me a and call. And then it's before like, I go to yeah, the gym, I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll know what, what okay. I want to do. All right, so I'll do that. I'll, I'll make sure I got a weekend. So I'm going to adjust weights as we go. Okay. Because the one thing I need the feedback from you is, oh, that was easy or, you know what, that was a little challenging. Because, again, you can change, like, okay, so you're doing that. It's like, oh, let me go up five pounds. You can do that and put the five pounds in. And then yeah. I'll see it's like, oh, okay. So the next one, maybe I'll do three at that weight, right? Just so we got to play together. But I'm, I'm, my mantra is leave a rep, two reps in hand, right? So you, you had eight. Two reps in hand. So you had eight, right? You yeah. probably could have done two more at least. Sure. Right. I don't want you to go to failure. Okay. Like, yeah. I don't want that. Right, we're not bodybuilding, we're doing it for strength and performance. Okay. Okay? Gotcha. And, and you, you So go. if you could do five at that weight, then mm -hmm. you're, you're, yeah. that's a good yeah. weight. Five and, and two in hand. Okay. Right? So if you want it challenging, like the uh, horizontal pull was challenging. Yeah. You probably could have got one more. Yeah. Maybe even two. Yeah. And that's what I want, right? Okay. Right? Okay. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, this is gonna be real light just to get an idea weight wise, but let's. Okay, just so we get the movement down. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. Right, shoulder press. So you're here. Hang on. Right. So you don't have to have your elbows right down okay. by your lats. Finish about here. Up. That's it. So ears. Yep. Right? So that's gonna be the first exercise. Second will be, let me show them to you first. Second will be, you have a choice. You can hold them by the horns here, right? Or you can hold it here. Okay. I want you to hold it here okay. because that'll force you, if you stand like that, it's You're gonna fun. tend to pull you over, right? Uh -huh. so, so you're standing here, right? Just a regular squat. Keep your head up. Okay. Keep your head up, okay? So this'll force you, okay, I gotta keep my center of gravity over my feet, yeah. right? If you watch it, right? Okay, 
And last one is a, it's called an RKC plank. I'll time you for that one. So get on the mat and do a plank for me on your elbows. Okay. All right. Okay. That's good. That's easy, right? You could do that for like two minutes, right? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> okay. All right. So I want you to just relax a bit and pull back. I'm going to show you where I want you on the mat, All right? Just to give you an idea. So you're going to be, I want your forearms on the mat, yeah. right? Elbows in close, feet in close, right? You're going to be in this position. You know, the only thing is now, so, you know, you don't want your pelvis tilting backwards. You want it tilted forward. Okay. That'll engage your core. You're going to squeeze your quads and squeeze your glutes. Take the palms of your hands and try to rip the ground apart. And then now push back on your toes. So the same position you were in the step up, like that, and keep your head. See how I'm shaking already? Yeah. <laughs> That's called an RKC plank. So, so you're pushing everything here and pushing that way. Okay. All right. All right, and trying to rip the ground apart. So let's do a little test. Put your elbows in close. Yep, there you go. All right, good. And try and squeeze your glutes, good. There you go, okay, relax. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's hard, right? <laughs> there you go. All right, okay, this, ready? This, this is a legit plank. We're going through the yeah, we'll go, we'll go through the circle. No, we'll start at the, uh, the shoulders. So you're trying to get him to squeeze and uh, squeeze as hard as you can in the, in the squeeze, plank. Squeeze everything, man. Okay, just six. Good. Good. Okay, I want you to finish over your head. Okay. Okay, okay come down. Good. So you can come down just a little bit in front of your head, but push and end up over. See where it goes, right? You want to pull it back mm -hmm. here. So let me let me guide your hands here and pull it over your head, okay? I got it, okay. That's the movement, More right. of a pull up. Yeah, you're good, okay, good. Okay, that's enough, that's easy, right? Yeah. Okay, so put 12, well, we'll do that when you finish the circuit. Okay, so horns down, right? Stand in front of the, stand right here, looking in the mirror. Turn this way, turn this way. Shoulder width apart. Yeah, shoulder width apart, keep it up higher. So the bell is right there, yep. Start him. Yep, good. Try not to lean forward at the bottom, there you go. Okay, stop, good. Easy, right? I can feel it. Those look better than the initial much, ones. Much, much better. See, but it's all mapping that pattern, For right? sure. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Go. How long are we going here? I'll go 25 seconds. <laughs> so, what, so what are you trying to promote with all this full contraction as opposed to what most people typically do in the plank? Yeah, you want to keep, because the core goes from here to here. Let's keep it all engaged, right? Everything we're trying to do you just don't lift. keep it engaged enough. Yeah. Stop. Good man. You felt that, right? Oh, yeah. There you go. Good. Okay. Put that's in your that's phone. different, eh? <laughs> Put in your phone. Ten. And, and this is 26 pounds. Most people aren't used to planking like that, eh? Hmm? Most people aren't used to planking like that, right? No. It's, it's like when somebody says, I can do a I plank for two minutes, it's like, yeah, right. right. Okay. Skip that yeah, or? Skip that, but I'll go over it. Just leave it there. Okay. Um, how do we go to the next one? Do I have to check it? Swipe between blocks. So oh. There we go. So, seated, so. Oh, I don't have the weight there. Okay, I'll mark it down. So enter the weight. Goblet squat is 26 pounds.
and you just have three reps. Is it? Well, it's it's 30 seconds. I'll change that too. It's time. It's 25 seconds. Okay. And we did that for. Okay, I'll remember that. So, do you want to go up on weight? Sure. For the, uh, for, so this was challenging. Yeah. Okay. We want 15s, 12.5, 15s, okay. <laughs> hey, you're doing great so far. Do you feel do you feel a difference when you finish standing taller exactly. and not as not as like the fit you kinda of do the fake tall sometimes? Because I know when I'm doing it probably at the gym on my own, I'm not doing it properly. Right. But so, I honestly I think as this gets easier. Because I think you as you're doing it alone, you automatically cheat, right? You kinda of just cheat yourself. Well you're not you're not paying attention and and so you got a, a good point because, right, with the T-spine, like when we're on the roller, we're trying to get a little more mo mobility and movement out of your T-spine. Yeah. Right. So this is forcing you to get that curve in your back. Yeah. Right. And it's forcing you to keep that way. So now you know that feeling. Yeah. So if you get side. loaded back with a squat you with know, a bar, you know, bar in your back, you're now getting that position correctly, because the higher you go, right, deadlifting is safer in a sense than um, squatting because the bar is up here, yeah. right? Whereas deadlifting, the bar is here. Now you're about here with the, the kettlebell. Yeah. So it's changing again. It's going farther away from your center of gravity. But when you're up here, you gotta make sure you're really in a good position. So this is teaching you, right? Reinforcing how to be in that good position that now I go and squat. If I don't have a mirror, at least I can, okay. I feel that I'm good. Yeah, for right? sure. Okay. And, and it actually makes the exercise harder when you're, not, when you're doing it, correct? Yes, because like, most of your body will be involved in it. Yeah, you're getting more. Yeah. You're getting more bang for your buck. Because yeah. <laughs> even with lighter weights, mm -hmm. it's still. You should be able to use five pounds and still feel it yeah. if you're doing it correctly, right? Because you can change your tempo, do it nice and slow. And it's for, you know, I like the way you launch yourself up. So same thing, load slow, bang, yeah. up, right? All right, let me see if you can get that pattern. Up, so this is six. Good, good finish. Four. Five. Six. Okay, you're done. Yeah, see, this good. is a different motion. What I used to do is just push straight up instead of coming around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, that's your shoulder, right? Yeah. The proper, because, okay, so where you pushed it, right? So I'm here, I pushed it. Look where the center of gravity is. Yeah, way ahead of you. Out here, right? So as things get heavier, you could hurt yourself. Yeah. So if you're, you're here, push over your head. Here, push over your head. Right? All right. A little higher. Yeah, there you go. This is five. Good. Good. Big toe. There you go. Five. Okay, good. That's it. Good. Your favorite. <laughs> so rotate your pelvis. Good. 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 Try and rip the ground apart with your hands. There you go. Good. Good man. Time. <laughs> hey, good job, man. That's tough. That was crazy. Like, you feel yourself quivering? <laughs> yeah, compared to a just, just a nor just a normal plank. Yeah. Just a normal plank. Yeah. That's how they should be done. Do, like, you could do it. You could do a normal plank for half an hour. Well, it's not doing anything. <laughs> you know, but you know, what I mean? I'm, I'm exaggerating. But, you know, I was telling Larry. Somebody said, "Oh, I can do a plank for two, five minutes, ten minutes." It's like, yeah. okay. Say, you know, try only, it this way. It's only at the end when you're actually yeah, yeah. quivering yeah. that. But no, you're exhausted, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Different, eh? No, that's... So we've done that. Yep. So we're 
Like yeah, so this, this whole, no, minutes. no, it's not. Because again, like I said, you, with your discretion, you can do it, do the three group sets. So if you see, let me show you on my phone. So this is kind of, gives you an idea. So A1, A2, A3, they're yeah. all in the same grouping. You do that one, that one, that one, then you rest. Then do it again. If you see B alone, no number, you do that by itself. Okay. Right? And then we got C1, C2, C3. Yeah. All right? And we're going to do scapular wall slides after. So these are the reset ones. We'll do the 90-90 at the end, show okay. you with, with some of the rolling out, right? But okay. no, it's, it's pretty fast. If you can do it that way, right, then you're in and out. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, one, you're two, in three. and out, right? Um, if you can't, then yeah, you can just do it one by one methodically. Technically, it should be a minute 30, but you kind of have an idea, like, you know what, okay, I feel I'm ready. Yeah. Right? If you, if you fail at um, a particular number of reps, it may not necessarily be that I just couldn't do it, I'm not strong enough, but maybe you didn't get enough rest. So the next one you might say, okay, I'll take two minutes rest and then do it. So right? there, there, there's really no benefit in doing it quick, like doing fast. Okay, rest. so this is the thing. I'm trying to train you. When it comes time to strength, it's a lot of rest. It is, yeah. <laughs> because it's just strength. We're working on strength. Yeah. Right? When right now we're working on a bit of hypertrophy, a little bit of, um, you know, mapping your uh, 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 movements making sure, okay, you're fine, you're good, you feel well with it. Yeah. Right? But when you get the strength, it's like sometimes two, three, five minutes. Like, you probably won't get in the five minute mark, right? But sometimes, like, you know, even with Larry, right, we're working, it's like, he may not get what he wants or the last one wasn't as good. Then I say, okay, take two minutes. Yeah. That le extra 30 seconds is like, Makes you sense. rejuvenate and all of a sudden, okay, I can see the numbers going, right? So, you just gotta play it by ear. It's not always, don't always rush it. Yeah. Right? You're good here. Like, when you're at 30, you're good. But when you're doing it like that, like, after that, you're going to beg for that minute 30. Yeah, just no. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, last one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Too low. Right there. Yep. One more. Good. All right. Good. Now you feel that in your shoulders? Yeah. Good. All right. Good. Push through that big toe. Good. One more. Good. Good. Push your heels back further. Drive them back. There you go. Squeeze. Keep your head up a bit, right there. Drop it a bit, drop it right there. Time. <laughs> yeah. It'll get easier. Don't lie to him. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's when you jump bump up the time when it gets hey, easier. He said, hey, I sent him an emoji. I sent him the wrong emoji. I, I, uh, he says, see, see it, what, was it, see it tomorrow? Well, he had a, he had a smile and, emoji. Yeah, the smile emoji was just below it, but the, the one be uh, before it was a mad emoji. Oh. I'm like, oh shoot, wrong one. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> Where are we going now? So I'm going to do the two resets for him, right? Show him what the two resets are, and then we're pretty well into cool. a bit of the stretching and we're gone. You're okay for time, right? Yeah. Okay. So this is the reset phase that we're starting with right now. Yeah. Where are we going for lunch, Larry? Uh, we'll figure it out after this. Yeah. 
What's the purpose of the reset? So, all this stuff we're doing, how he presented his body to me last time, right? Uh -huh. and, and some of the issues he had, and he's done great work. Like, no, seriously, I tell people this all the time, and they don't do it. And you know, then when crisis comes, then they start doing things. Sure. It's like, yeah, but you're so damaged now. But if you just do little things, you see how much you saw the difference right yeah. there. Um, so we're trying to just get his body to make sure that everything moves properly, nothing compensates, right? So if you know there was a knee issue, something like we, you know, we'll watch this. That your body's smart enough is going to figure. Okay, I got to get this movement done. It'll use something else that's not necessarily, you know, good for the job. Yeah. So the injury will find the weak link. So we're just trying to make sure there are no weak links, minimize right, those, right. get it all together, right. get his body working properly. And he's moving he properly. He feels how it should move. Right, right. Right? Cool. And then you can start, because if you load somebody without right. that. Of course, of course. You know, you're asking for trouble. Right, um, cool. Let me just grab a. Okay, honestly, like when, when the, all this gets better, this will be a lot easier in the golf swing, I think. Because the more, the more places you're learning the same kind of movement, the easier it's going to be to, for you to so implement it. To, like, you can start to sl slouching, right. you know, sitting at a chair all day. Right. And... Yeah, that's, you're, but you know what? You're, in, you're pretty good for being in the couch all day. Yeah. You should be worse, like, you should be. I know, I know if, I'm, if I'm at my desk at home for five hours, yeah. I feel everything just falls apart. Well, so now I, I've, got a, I've got a new desk that that I oh, the, standing. the ex oh, yeah. standing desk? Yeah. desk? Well, no, it's, oh, it's... Or something like it? Yeah. Is it, is it, is it where is oh, it like... great. Like, I got it for my wife. Yeah. It's a, it's a work desk, so the whole thing raises. That's amazing. So every every half an hour, I, I nice. stand for 10 minutes. Yeah, no, smart man. Yeah. Okay, so I'll show you the first. Um, open up your, grab your phone. So watch that video. Because even before we get into that, so this is a this no, this is a 90-90, right? So you gotta go back up, the one we skipped. So a 90-90, feet or 90, and you're basically opening up your hips. Right? So that'll show you, oh yeah, that'll show you. So watch it. Yep, so 90, right? And and 90 and 90, right? So He's here, right? He moves to here, right? Then you take that leg. Yeah. The first move is the chest. Yep. So you're you're here, right? Then you're here. So you're gonna feel that glute. Yeah. Right? Okay. Then you come up. Right? Then you try and move to the center. You move your leg internal, external. Just the one leg, tight. Oh, eh? you're tight. You're tight, dude. <laughs> this will be good for you. You're tight. <laughs> right, and and then you go over to the next side. Right there, right. <laughs> It'll get easier. It'll get better. It will. Yeah. It will. yeah. That's an after, so that's after, after, yeah, that was after the first three. Yeah. You do that, right? The next one, so we're gonna do that again, but the next one is a scapular wall slide. So you take a, you get, do you have, do you have bands at your gym? Uh, I don't think they have bands. You don't have bands? Okay, all right. Okay, I had to ask you that, make sure that I didn't put anything with bands in there. Do you have foam rollers? Yeah. Okay, so this again. So we're gonna try and, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that shoulder feeling real nice. And part of that is so your right shoulder, you're right-handed, right? Yeah. Do you have a, a, a Mac or a PC? Mac. And do you have the pad? No, the, I the, use a mouse. Use a mouse? Yeah. Okay, so that's the issue. Okay. That's the issue. If you could switch it over every once in a while, but that's hard. Oh, I can't do so, it. To, so this is because you're on the desk, right? Yeah. Whether you're standing or sitting, it's that. This is always. And that's what's the problem, right? Yeah. So, scapular wall slide. So, elbows here. 90 degrees, right, start here, and put your head through, yeah. back, and down. Put your head through, yeah. back, and down, OK? 
Okay, so the key is getting it at the right spot. So 90s right there, right at the edge, yep. Okay, so you're kind of rolling in a little bit of a V pattern. Stick your head through and bring it back, down. Three, two, sorry. Three, now a little slower, a little more methodical. Yeah, go. Four, good. Five. Okay. It's so, funny on so, that, this shoulder, yeah. I feel it more. It's pretty. I'd have to think about that one for a while. So that's a scap, yeah. a scap with a wall slide with a foam roller. This is just a regular scap wall slide. So I'm giving you two, right? So we're here. Just drop your feet a bit. So you want to try and keep your back, back flat. So like we were talking. So yeah. no space. Right? Okay. There you go. No space. You're here. Try and put your elbow and your, so you're tight like me. Yeah. This is, this is, it'll get better. So what you're trying to do is from that position, Right, Squat. try to keep your back, no. You bring your hands to form a... Oh my God. Yeah, there you go. Now bring it down. That's shoulder health right there. Give me four more. Keep that back flat. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Good. Okay, yeah, we're gonna spend some time on this. Okay. I feel it all through my back. Lower. I'm not keeping. So drop your knees a little more then to the point where you can try and get your back flat. The hardest part is going to have to be these points of contact. So oh, if you start, yeah. if you start about there, about there, okay, eventually you'll be able to flatten out. It'll happen, but it takes time. Yeah. You can feel, that's a workout, eh? Yeah, that's a workout. <laughs> I love your face. I can see when something's going on. Yeah. <laughs> that's tough. Less, less on the back? Yeah, but okay, still, good. I can't get it flat. Yeah, it'll take time. It'll You'll take get time. it. You'll get yeah. it. Grab some water. So I want you to do one more hip flow. and So we'll work on that. I'll, I'll take the other one out. We'll work on this for a bit. That's good. So, and you, yeah, I know. And that's your hip function, right? Yeah. So forward. And then just move this leg. Hang on, let's see which leg he moves first. So he's up, so he's going over to that side. So that leg, yeah. As far as you can, internal, external rotation, yeah. Now go over to that other side. Okay, so you're there, right? When, let's do one more. So, yeah. so come back from the other side. We're gonna do it backwards, right? So you're, so 90-90, right? You lean forward again. I'm gonna add a little piece in there, okay. So when you're doing that too, right, this could be a warm up as well as right now we're at the end. So yeah. yes, you're static stretch. But when you're doing it as a warm up, you're kind of moving yeah, a, little, little, a little bit of flow, right? Yeah. And you'll find sometimes you can go here. It's okay. It's good. Here. Oh, it's a little oh, tighter. Here. It's a little tighter. Right? You can find. So that would, that's what you would do with a warm up. Yeah. Just try to get yeah. your depth. Yeah. Right? Okay. So. Move up. So that right leg or your left leg, sorry, internal. Ah, just move that. You feel that, eh? Oh, and my calves cramping. Up. Okay, <laughs> so now sit there before you go. Just put your elbows in there, open up. Now you go to the other side. Good? 
Okay, one more wall slide. Oh, this hand. Yeah. If you need to go lower, go lower. Yeah. Okay. See, it's my back comes right. Do five. Good. You just do like five of them? Like, or yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, or? no, I wouldn't do as many as I can because you'll, you'll, I'll give you, yeah, it'd probably, it'd probably about five. Yeah. Because we're just trying to work it in there, get it used to going on, just like doing those black burns, right? Yeah. We just want to get your shoulder in the position okay. It's a little more mobile, it's a little yeah. looser, right? Um, okay, so on the ground, you sit on the ground so you don't have bands, right? So. Okay, we've got to figure out other things to stretch. So now you want to just cool down. Oh. So you might feel a bit of your back, your lower back. Yeah. Okay, put your right foot in. Now. Try and keep, I can't touch my toes, but try and keep your hands even. If you can touch your toes, try and keep them even. Go, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> and try and breathe, try and breathe. Okay, back. Try and breathe again. Okay, now take that leg that's bent, put it over, pull back. Should feel it in your glute. Okay, all right, switch legs. See, you're pretty good, that's, that's pretty, can you touch your hands to the ground standing up? Yeah. You can, you can touch your toes, can you put your palms down? No. Okay, but well, you can touch your toes. I can touch them. See, so it's probably your quads not turning off, allowing me to get that range of motion, so that's, that's good. Because that's... Yeah, like where do you feel where do you feel oh, the yeah. stretch? Yeah, all, all up. All up, okay, all right. Put your foot over, pull back. I don't okay. feel that one as much. No? Okay, no. that's good. Like, where should I feel it? Like, so like, you'll feel it in the opposite glute. Yeah, you don't feel that at all? No. So. Cross, cross your leg again. So do it and cross your leg again. Maybe so put, put, drop this, bend your knee, All right? Okay, so put your hands behind your knee and see if you can pull. Oh yeah. Right there? there? So yeah. yeah, okay. So you just need to find that spot, All right? You feel this side or this side? I feel this, this side. side. Yeah, good, yeah. right? And some of it sometimes, if you, if you hold, so just be careful of your knee, right? Yeah, right? yeah, that's... So you'll find the spot. So try this, come here, try this one. So it's called a pigeon, so foot straight back. This in front, you might feel, again, this is one of those, you move over, you move around. Feel anything? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, switch legs. Yeah, that one I could see. Okay, good. More on the outside. <laughs> yeah. Feel that one? Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Now, some call this the frog stretch, but it's a, a groin stretch. So you're here, right? And you just push back. Feel it in your groin. 
No? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so in this position, try and put your heels to the ground. Calf stretch. Okay, one knee on the ground, one forward, so we're looking at the 90-90 again. So the same thing we're doing with the RKC plank, right? You don't want your butt sticking out, curl your hip under. As soon as you do that, so you should be straight. Yeah, that profile, right? Yeah. Drop your hands, relax, that profile, right? So as soon as you turn your pelvis, do you feel a bit there? Right on? A bit, yeah. Yeah, okay, so now all you have to do is move forward just a couple of inches. Feel that? Yeah. Okay. There you go. That's that's a when you see guys doing that, yeah. it's a little too far, right? You're stretching more your lower back as opposed to, all right, switch legs. So 90, 90. Hip under. Then you go forward. There you go. And I'm feeling that here too. That's what you want. That's that whole hip flexor complex. Yeah. Good, okay, stand up. Um, follow me. Where are we going? It's over here. So, I would usually use bands just to get the lat stretch, but you just hold, find a pull, vertical yeah. pull, pull here, right? A little bit of bend in your knee and put your head in line with your arm and you'll feel that pull right along your lower back. All right, right along your lats and your lower back. You may feel a bit of shoulder. Feel that? Yeah. Okay. To your other side. Feel that? Yeah. Good. Okay, now a chest stretch, you can either do it on one of these or a wall, but if you're here, I don't feel this as much. It's better using the old, but you can, so you're 90 degrees, yeah, and I you can, can push it. and you'll feel, all right, try that. Tell me if you feel it. Feel it? Yeah. Okay, good, good. Good, do the other side. So you, you should really stretch after every single session. <laughs> Theoretically. Being our age, we should. Yeah. I know sometimes it's usually the one that suffers. Yeah. Because you gotta get out. But you have a shower, right, which gets your body warm. Yeah. Then you do a couple of stretches. I can give you important stretches, core four all those little stretches that you can do at home okay. and it'll help relieve some of it. But yeah, you feel much like, like, okay, you got me doing all this stuff. I feel so good right now. <laughs> I feel good, right? But no, it, it, you, you should because you want to get back to, again, we're, we're doing exercises that will shorten you and tighten you and, right? We're, we're damaging our bodies in a sense, sure. right? And then we eat to get it all back on and, yeah. and repair at night and you feel good. But yeah, it decreases the, the soreness. Like you shouldn't be too sore, but let me know tomorrow what is sore, right? Okay. But I'm hoping you're not too sore. But oh, it might be it just from good. different different things and you're using different things. Yeah. But you know, but just let me know. So I'm gonna outline all that and so I'm, you just gotta give me an idea schedule wise. Do you wanna is it three months? Three, yeah. Three days a week? Uh, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday or yeah. Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. No, I gotta or? do I gotta do at least yeah, three to four a week. Okay, we'll we'll do week. okay, we'll do three. Yeah. Now This is what I want you to think about. Okay, so I'll do three. I can also put in, if you want to do your cardio stuff in between the days or, you know, you let me know. I'm going to do it, like, yeah. I'm trying to get to the gym every single day. Okay, so you can do, so would you be able to do then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we get the lifts on, the Tuesday, Thursday, you get your cardio in? Yeah, yeah, your yeah. intervals and stuff? Is that okay? Okay. Because then, too, you can also do a little bit of warm-up, work on some of the like mobility issues. Every day, no, no, no. 
It's don't want to, no, because we're, we're doing whole body. Yeah, yeah. Right? So you need 48 hours in between. Okay. Right? But flushing, doing that kind of stuff helps, right? Blood circulating, get all rid of the crap. Yeah. And then you're good and ready for, for the next round. So if you're going to go four days, then I'll put the, or sorry, five days, and I'll put Tuesday, Thursday as your, as your high yeah, intensity. Yeah, do that. Seven. Perfect. Okay. Um, right. I'm traveling next week. Yes, you said that. You so mentioned you may have some traveling stuff. Where, where, okay. Yeah, but so that was gym, uh, so I'm sure I could do the seven first days. day of the program with Jonathan and Ian. Do you, uh, hopefully well, that you know, was do me a favor. Of interest of some, for time. some of you guys. Uh, Give them a I call thought it was pretty cool watching, go watching them go through the reset phase. So where it is. If, um, if they have, we'll, if they have, we'll have more of these you know, videos coming up in the future. Hope it helps. Any questions in the comments below. And thanks for watching, guys.